No, you're not going to bite me. I think he bit me. I mean, I think he bit me. Yep. All right. Now comes the cutscene. I think. Yep. Uh, I'm George. Nah, don't really care. Wait, there was supposed to be somewhere around here. I don't get it. All right. Uh, anyway. Ah, yeah, wow. here they are. And nobody sees that. Great. That makes terribly much sense. Hey, Harry. Have you collected 25 beans? No. Thanks for helping us out, Harry. Here's a wizard card, then. Hope you don't have this one yet. How would I? Come on, George. We've got work to do. I hope you're working on my non-magic magic LSD request. I've given you, like, 75 beans already. Alright, Godric Gryffindor. That's actually quite a good card. I can't believe we're getting this it, this early. Here. Oh, crap. I completely forgot we're going to get this one. Um, anyway, avoid this door as hell. Avoid it. Just avoid it. Go to over here and shoot this thing. And now we're going to get to a creepy place that looks like perfect for someone to be raped please don't ask me about the sickness of my mind all right mm. uh, looks actually quite great Bye. and ooh, that kind of looks nice medieval but nice but i hate everything that's medieval it has the word evil in it and that's why i hate it Alright, I don't know how long this episode was, but I think it's up to 7 to 8 minutes. And sorry, but I really have to be more careful with the new uh, YouTube time limits and everything. I really have no idea how long or how long I have to record or what the hell I even have to do to get my limit up to more than 15 minutes again. So, I think this is enough for now. So, uh, next time on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, we will be entering Herbology class to hopefully learn another spell. And maybe make some friends. Alright, I hope you will watch this video. I mean the next video. I am horrible at this. Pretty door. Hi guys, it's Red, and welcome back to more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the last episode, we have gone through an amazingly sick garden. Seriously, what moron makes flesh-eating plants grow in a garden 11-year-old ch children are going to? Seriously! Anyway, we have also gotten a few collector's cards. There's the passage we have used, which is surprisingly still open. Nah. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to go to our new class. Woohoo. Woo! -hoo. Woo. How black. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Today we we'll learn the incendio spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. You're ugly. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. Then release the button. Ah, uh, you just love every single let's play or walk through or. Ugh, sucking at this. You just love it to watch people suck at stuff. Because you're people, and that's what people do. They enjoy suffering. Uh, well, I can't believe that actually worked. Whoa, I can't believe I actually got a 98%. That is an outstanding incendio for a first year. I'm the freaking prophet. For I'm like the messiah of this Try world. The Kung Fu action Jesus! This time. And I'm ripping off people again. Woohoo. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, I just don't get why I always get high marks when I don't need them. Seriously. I mean, see this? See this? This is 2% more than we need for the last mark. Now, now watch. I'm going to get like a 91% or 92 or even worse, 94 in the last try. Oh, great. Now I bothered it and now I'm going to fail at this try. Woohoo. Fantastic. <sighs> Huh. 
I didn't no! expect that. I actually expected that a miserable failure. Standing in Sentinel for a first year. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. All right. Uh, by the way, something I should have explained a lot earlier is um, Slytherin having more house points than you. Don't care about that. They will constantly have more house points than you. You cannot do anything about that. Anything. Literally. You can try to get as many house points as you want. You won't do anything. And you know what? Just because we're gonna try something, an experiment I always wanted to do once. Yep. Save. Woohoohoo. Fantastic. Whatever the spell is you're attempting, it's not incendio. Screw you! That was on purpose! I sucked on purpose! Because I'm a purposely sucker. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's time for the incendio challenge. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the balcony. Why won't you help me? Why can I go to the balcony? I love balconies. Those are spiky bushes. You may cast incendio on them, but step back to avoid their needles. What the? Alright, game. Incendio. Not fair. Incendio. What? Cheap. Cheap. Immensely cheap. I mean, shooting on me from behind. I mean, a bush. Seriously, a bush shooting on me from behind. And seriously, what is the purpose of this spell? I mean, we're, we're using it just for this here. What is its use? I mean, seriously, we're using it just once. I mean, we're using it on plants we won't even encounter any time else. Stop moaning! I hate your moaning. I mean, I just knocked you off with an immensely awesome spell. Screw you! Alright. Oh. This is a typical species of venomous tentacular. Cast incendio to wilt it. Incendio! Incendio! Now collect the challenge stars to complete your lesson. Away you go. You're telling us now! God! After we have died, I mean almost died like 18 times. Trying to get here. Only so you can teach us a spell that would have helped us not almost die. I mean, that would have... Ugh. I just don't know what to say. I mean, seriously, I hate you, Sprout. Seriously, I mean, what moron teaches you something you needed to get to that person after you get to that person? I mean, seriously. Only yeah, games can do something like that. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, I... It's not really too much of the fault of EA games. I'm just looking for every single bit of unrealist in any game, just so I can make fun of it. Uh, but honestly, the logics of this game makes Nintendo logics look like Prince of Persia 2 Thrones. I'm just kidding because Prince of Persia makes so immensely much sense. Seriously. Seriously.